So the seven billion people today living on Earth actually only imagine that all the people living on Earth today will be squeezed in cities in 2050, what that wing in terms of mobility. Transportation is changing, in urban areas in particular. People are moving away from vehicle ownership towards vehicle usage and multimodal solutions. We believe as Movil in an ecosystem of interconnected mobility services. So you can search, book and ride and pay, meaning that if you search for a ride, you can either choose from our public transport, from our car sharing, or you can take a ride on a, on a bike. And what you can do is you cannot only search it, you can book it, uh, you can get the ticket, you can open the bike, you can open the car and everything with one lock-in and one payment. It is a mental shift, but it's something that will become more prevalent. And what's going to drive that is the availability of comparable services in the marketplace. So once you have mobility as a service taking off and, trans and mobility being offered in on a monthly subscription base, that's when you're going to see the shift happen. Whether it be through car sharing, ride sharing, ride hailing or integrated mobility, several of these solutions are being given to us through technology platforms on the smartphone. Instead of using our car as the only way to get from A to B, we have a number of alternatives, which means lowering use of private cars and increasing sustainable mobility services. I have an eight-year-old and I firmly believe that he will never get a driver's license because there probably won't be any need for one. Oh, but it's amazing how proficient uh, the young generation is all with the new technology. So the conversation, how easy it is to access um, a different mobility through, uh, through a phone, that's just a current fact of life. And for General Motors and for Maven, I feel we're very fortunate because we're building on uh, the previous experience of 20 years with the connected vehicle and the OnStar. We've done that. We have uh, talked to our customers for a billion times through the blue button. We understand how this works. So this is just a natural extension and the building blocks um, towards autonomous future. It's no longer about private versus public transport. We're seeing a growing number of industries that are coming to the table to offer new solutions, specifically the ICT players, but also the public sector, also car rental, car leasing, and several other providers are getting interested in this. So what this means is that to be successful in mobility services, partnerships are going to be key. Transportation is a 10,000 billion euro annual market. It's the second largest economic system in the world after retail and currently that market share is mostly dominated by the private car. Private car on the other hand is one of the least utilized assets in the history with utilization rate of less than 4%. So people are paying huge amounts of money for something that nobody's actually using. Just looking around London today, I asked myself, you know, if, if travelling around the city was a rational decision, why are all these people stuck in cars? Um, and, but people do. People love their car. They love their own personal space. So I think you'll see maybe one scenario is moving from a congestion zone to an autonomous zone, where basically your car has to be given over to the intelligent fleet manager that actually takes over that car and controls it for you. Um, but then when you move out and you want to drive up to Cambridge, you can do that. Technology gives us the opportunity to provide a user-centric approach to mobility. Mobility could start to become more of a service, a utility. People could start to perhaps pay a monthly subscription for accessing all modes of mobility. So if you ask any economists, are there any opportunities there? Definitely. In the developed markets, uh, our first target areas that have combined population of over 1 billion, 5% out of that, that means in revenues 193 billion euros annually. So that's the size of the market. The opportunities are huge.